Well, I am standing in my backyard wanting to give you the second week of April update on my seeds and my backyard garden. Um, I'll start with the backyard here because you haven't really seen it since we tore down trees uh, last August and tore down our fence and so it's kind of a wreck and a mess right now and so I do have high aspirations for what I want the back to look like. Um, I would love to have the garden shed moved up to the top south corner and then my husband's aquaponics that are in the tubs will be also in that corner and then the garden will kind of just stretch along the entire south side of that fence that's behind me now the fence will have to be removed and i believe we're gonna do a chain link fence with some vines on it as a little privacy we live in an area where it's busy traffic on pretty much a lot of sides of the house and with kids we want to still have a fence and for maybe future selling we're gonna have a fence i love the wood fence but cost efficiency and maintenance um, an eight foot or six foot tall fence is not not realistic right now so also um, where the garden shed is at we have had termites as well so that's why we need to get the garden shed off the ground where it's currently at with um, moving that will hopefully free up some space for more garden here in this area and I do have it written out what I would like in certain areas of the backyard so um, in this closest area to me by the garage, I'll probably have more of my cooler spring month plants, such as like the beads, parsnips, turnips, lettuce, stuff like that. Uh, then I'll probably have tomatoes, peppers next to that, onions, and then I'll have quite a bit of corn up in that top south um, east or southeast corner as well. And vines, viney plants like my squashes and pumpkins. I had squash bugs so bad on the side of our garage last time that I cannot do that again this year. Uh, so they're gonna hopefully go on the other side of the garden shed. Now, like I said in my previous garden update video, I want all this to be done before baby comes end of May and the fence is not gonna happen then which is totally okay but hopefully at least getting some plants in the ground by then would be great on the south side of the garage i will be putting my potatoes and some onions over there to um just rotate crops too because i had corn there and squashes there for the past two years so i definitely need to rotate that out all right, so I'm gonna share with you my seeds now as well. Um, it was super nice yesterday, and so I did take this outside, and the top blew off, and my the really small ones there are snapdragons. They may not come back. I think the heat and the wind got to them a little bit, but as you can see, other plants are coming up. I need to take it out to my husband's warehouse now so it can have full sun exposure. Um, and take this plastic off and fill this with the water. So what I do have here, I guess I have the peppers, tomatoes, snapdragons, um, pumpkins here, watermelons not coming up yet, and then some cucumbers. So even if for the peppers, if I only had those eight plants that are up, that is okay by me. So I have that there that's still going. My cosmos are really taking off well. I planted some zinnias last week. You can see they're in there still coming up. Um, I did plant some more snapdragons in this one. And then I planted all green peppers in here just end of last week. And then um, these peppers are a mixed color. I did plant more zinnias here. Um, and then I have another zinnia on my windowsill. All right, and then my broccoli and cabbage that are out at my husband's warehouse, they will probably have to be planted here in the next couple weeks. It has been so nice here. And zone five, like I said yesterday, was 80, 88 degrees outside. Today's a little cooler and overcast, which is fine. And we're gonna get some rain, which is needed as well but um, those broccoli and cabbage plants will probably have to be put into the ground relatively soon. I did buy some pumpkin or pumpkin potatoes 
and onion sets that I'm going to put, like I said, on the south side of our garage to put that there because it's kind of a lower maintenance area. So it'll be nice to put those there that kind of just, potatoes for sure, do pretty well without maintaining too much for me. Um, yeah, and then all this stuff will have to be cleaned up and um, moved, like the tree branches, the um, other dead garden foliage from last year we'll all take out to our waste disposal which is um something i've been doing just in the back of our family vehicle because we don't have a pickup or a trailer or anything so some of the stuff we will have to borrow a trailer for as well but i'm still excited for what's to come with my garden um flower garden bed i hope to be putting in some of those flower seeds that i've started i'll probably get some other plants from some neighbors that I'll be putting in as well and I'll have to share that with you too when the time comes for that. So that was my update for this week and hopefully we'll see some progress next week. <music>